Today's AI Brief, Sensi. AI secures $25 million, UK's labor pushes for AI rules, EU calls for AI transparency, Zoom unveils AI tools, leaders caution about AI, and ChatGPT storms tech in 2023. Let's dive in. AI Pioneer Sensi. AI raises $25 million for remote patient care, Sensi. AI, a company that uses audio-based AI software to remotely monitor patients receiving in-home care, has raised $25 million in funding and scaled to 70 employees across the US and Israel. Sensi. AI's technology uses a combination of AI and audio monitoring to detect key events in and around patients' environments, helping to predict anomalies that can impact their health. The company has captured over 10 million caregiver interactions from tens of thousands of people throughout the US to train its AI system. The market for remote care monitoring solutions is growing, and Sensi. AI's differentiated technology has helped the company stand out. Sensi. AI, an AI-powered home monitoring system, has raised $3.5 million in funding. The system is designed to help caregivers monitor the health of elderly patients remotely. Unlike some competitors, Sensi, AI does not use cameras for monitoring, and is compliant with HIPAA and anonymizes data. The pandemic has increased the need for remote monitoring solutions such as Sensi. AI. The company hopes to grow as a care tool for clinicians and parents of older adults to keep track of vulnerable patients. Labour urges UK to regulate AI development to prevent misuse and abuse. Labour has called for the UK to bar technology developers from working on advanced AI tools without a licence. The move comes amid concerns about the lack of regulation for large language models used in AI tools. The government has been urged to introduce stricter rules for companies training their AI products on vast datasets. The Prime Minister has acknowledged the potential threat posed by AI to humanity. One of the government's advisors on AI has warned that the UK should regulate the development of AI instead of banning certain technologies, says Shadow Minister Joe Powell. She warns that biased data used to train algorithms can lead to products with discriminatory biases. Matt Clifford, chair of the Advanced Research and Invention Agency, warns that AI is evolving faster than we realize and could surpass human control, leading to potential risks. He urges policymakers to prioritize AI regulation. AI experts predict a broad range of outcomes for the technology, with some saying significant advancements will happen in two years, while others are more conservative. European Commission calls for transparency, tech companies urge to label AI-generated content, the European Commission is urging tech companies to label content generated by AI tools to counter disinformation. The request includes big tech companies like Google, Facebook, and Twitter. The requirement is urgent to counter Russian disinformation campaigns targeting EU member states. The new legislation comes into effect on August 25th, and tech companies could face stiff fines or even be blocked from operating in the block if they don't comply. Twitter has become the first major tech company to unsubscribe to the EU's current voluntary code of conduct and could be fined up to 6% of its revenue for non-compliance. Revolutionizing virtual meetings, Zoom introduces AI-powered meeting summaries and chat compose with Zoom IQ Assistant. Zoom now offers AI-powered meeting summaries and chat compose features through its Zoom IQ Assistant. Hosts can generate summaries of meetings and send them to users through Zoom team chat or email all without actually recording the meetings. Zoom also lets users compose messages in team chat using AI, which creates messages based on the context of a team chat thread. Zoom plans on rolling out several other AI-powered features through its partnership with OpenAI and Anthropic, including the ability to write emails with AI using context from previous meetings, phone calls, and emails. Video conferencing platform Zoom has announced new AI-powered features for its Business Plus, Business Pro and Legacy Bundles. The new features include real-time transcription, translation, and closed captioning. Pricing information for these features has not been revealed yet, but a spokesperson for Zoom has stated that it will be announced in the coming months. Tech leaders warn of AI risks, OpenAI and Google CEO speak out. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman and Google DeepMind CEO Demi Sasabis, among others, have warned about the risks of AI, putting it on par with pandemics and atomic weaponry. However, some speculate that tech insiders may be seeking to benefit from creating panic around AI. Altman's recent threat to pull out of the EU if OpenAI's chat GPT is overregulated raises questions about the industry. A proposal to regulate AI through state licenses for research could create monopolies and risks of political bias. 
the threshold for requiring a license is open to interpretation, and any fair standard would have to be more clearly defined. Education on deep fakes and similar technologies is necessary to separate fact from fiction. Requiring government approval to create AI won't stop state-sponsored information warfare AIs from existing. Society will need to Elon Musk accuses AI of political bias, supported by academic research. AI licenses could become another battlefield for partisan culture warring. Skepticism around those driving this push doesn't mean AI is risk-free. Proposals should ensure AI is positive for impacted workers. It's worth asking what's really going on when an industry suddenly begs to be regulated after introducing something that could wipe out life on Earth. Revolutionizing conversations, OpenAI's ChatGPT takes the tech industry by storm in 2023. OpenAI's ChatGPT, a conversational AI model, has been making waves in the tech industry in 2023. The financial services sector is particularly interested in the potential of generative AI, which has the ability to transform payments, banking, and insurance. Personalized marketing and experience process automation, fraud defense, risk assessment, customer success, and product development are among the most promising use cases. However, it is not yet suitable for compliance, decision-making, and high-risk areas such as securing payment systems or overseeing trading. Early adopters stand to gain the most, and providers should prepare for implementation now. Insider Intelligence offers a full report on generative AI's impact on financial services, including promising and less promising use cases, and steps providers can take to prepare. Use code CHAT100 for $100 off. Thank you for tuning into AI News. Remember, the future is shaped by those who stay informed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of AI breakthroughs.